my dear colleagues from Bangladesh, and uh, I'm uh, very happy that today that I have the chance to uh, share my experience in Shanghai. Uh, our city, actually, we spent almost two months to control the disease. And today, I think we can have some experiences that I can share with you, my colleagues. However, in order to uh, ex express my ex experience uh, very accurately, I would ask my uh, colleague to give the translation for me later. Okay. So, uh, I will. I actually. I uh, what, what? Actually, I have some questions from my colleagues from Bangladesh, and uh, I will uh, share the experience one by one, and uh, to t uh, tell you what we uh, uh, our experience in fighting the disease in Shanghai. And uh, now I will mm -hmm. speak in Chinese. I think I will uh, tell my experience more accurately. Okay. 呃，那么在这一次疫情里面，我首先要先谈几个非常关键的问题。呃，我认为这个疫情控制的一个时间节点，比这个疾病的治疗本身更为重要。上海呢，是是在一月二十号，我们几乎是跟美国同一个时间，呃，发生第一例病例，所以就是上海的病例也是从我们是。发生第一例病例的同同一个时间，等于是，呃，美国也是发生同同一例病例，等于一月二十号。那么从此后面呢，我们大家做的一个工作呢，可能会有一些不同。我在这里呢，就是会把我两个月里面做的工作，呃，向大家进行分享。呃，孟加拉，呃，今天，呃，孟加拉今天的病例数我看只有一百多例，我认为这个就是一个最好的一个时间窗口。呃，我们上海。能够花两个月的时间，一个多月的时间，两个月不到的时间，把这个疾病完全控制住。最主要的一个经验就是早期，当然后面我还会介绍我采取了哪些办法，我们在早期把这个疾病控制住。如果一旦发生了后面持续性的社区传播，我估计我们就没有机会了。Uh, Thank you.、Um, let me start by. Uh, talking about several key issues. First, I think that doing the right thing at the right time and start as early as possible is, far, is even more important than uh, treating the disease alone. In fact, on January the 20th, Shanghai reported its first confirmed case, which is almost the same time as the U.S. found its first confirmed case. However, ever since then, the two places have done their job quite differently. I'm going to tell you what me and my colleagues have been doing the past two months. I have、uh, read the numbers of Bangladesh, and the country by now has only reported a little bit over 100 confirmed cases. So I think that as you as we talk, you now have the best time window, and uh, uh, you must grasp these very good opportunities. In less than two months' time, Shanghai has successfully contained the spread of COVID-19 because Shanghai has decided. Very early that we must act ASAP as soon as possible, and I'm going to tell you what steps we've been doing. But if you cannot act as early as possible, then if、uh, this COVID-19 starts to have、uh, continuous community transmission, then things will become out of control. In our controlling this disease at the early stage, we have to do three things. The first thing is to treat the patient once. 也就是说，我们要对 suspected cases， 我们要进行一次非常全面的、没有遗漏的诊断。<笑>在发现 suspected cases 的时候，我们在第一时间就要他对他实施 quarantine。在做 quarantine 的同时，我们要由我们的疾控部门 CDC 来做他的核酸的检测，要做他的 PCR 的 test。我们对所有的 PCR 的 test 全部是免费的，所以我们会没有遗漏。一旦确诊是一个 COVID-19， 那么后面我们做的马上要开展的事情就是 CDC 要对病人的 close contacts 进行 tracing， 要对每一个我们要找到每一个 close contacts。我记得我一个阳性的病人。
他的 close contacts 有的一千多个人，所以我们上海就对这一千多个 close contacts 进行了居家隔离。居家隔离的时间是两个星期，在居家隔离的过程当中，如果发现有症状，因为现在非常明确，他的一个潜伏期，他的 incubation period， 他是两周的时间，所以。我们有两周的一个隔离期，就可以把 close contacts 里面的病人再给筛查出来，避免有下一代的病例的产生，就终止了社区的传播。这是我们在早期治疗里面的一个非常重要的经验，就是尽可能的对 suspected cases 进行诊断，然后尽可能的对 close contacts 进行 tracing。那么这两点做好的话。我们就会在早期的非常关键的时间窗口里面，我们把疾病给控制住。The question you might ask is, what are the key steps that must be taken to contain the disease in an early stage? I think in Shanghai, what we do is that we make sure that all suspected cases will be diagnosed to make sure that there is no missing out of one single case. Once a suspected case is found, we will put the suspected patient under quarantine immediately, and the CDC will carry out PCR or nucleic act acid testing. Because all PCR testing in Shanghai is offered free of charge, so that no suspected case or later confirmed case will be missed. Will be missed. Once the patient is confirmed. Then we will start, or the CDC will start to trace his or her close contacts, and this close contact tracing or contact tracing is very important. If I remember correctly, one of my positive patients who was tested positive for COVID-19 has as many as 1,000 close contacts, and once they are found, all these 1,000 plus close contacts are placed under home-based quarantine for two weeks. Why two weeks? Because two weeks has been found to be the incubation period of COVID-19, and during this period, if any symptom of the close contact is found, he or she will be put for further measures. The two weeks is long enough for us to find any new patients out of the close contacts of the confirmed cases, so as to prevent the next generation of disease as well as、uh, community-based transmission. So, in the early stage, our most important experience is that make sure we must diagnose each and every suspected case, and no single case is missing, and make sure that we must trace all close contacts of the confirmed cases to make sure that no one is let out.